Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today as you see we heard the news about uh, uh, first I want to apologize my internet is not good to go live on air and actually lucky that I have an internet here and uh, uh, as you see uh, we have a news about a woman who is uh, suspected but you know this is what they say when somebody is already they knew that he is the one who did it of trying or attempt to assassinate uh, President uh, Trump. Um, uh, the, the, always the weird thing about the news we hear that it's a woman who is this woman with her name always they do that and supposedly this is for the purpose of uh, investigation but I mean I find it very silly because if there is people who they are partners of it I mean it doesn't matter if you say her name or not they knew she is arrested and the second you say she is a woman you make it more clear who is she to I mean uh, imagine a woman she is trying to attempt the president and then you say in the news it's a woman let us say there's a but he is a partner with her supposedly until now he do not know that they are talking about that woman who he is helping her <laughs> so I don't find really a reason uh, to hide the name it's kind of silly and I don't know uh, but I think this is always like uh, <clears throat> there's an agenda behind everything they do the important thing in this news here is how easy to kill somebody if you know uh, some information about him you know like you send him mail if you are a person who have a skills and here the the important is to to ask the question where this woman she learned this skills I mean in order to make such a poison and to make the poison hiding in a paper which mean it's not really it's not it's not a skill every one of us have it right so who is, who is the one who trained her is she the one who make the poison um, and then they found her with a gun trying to cross the borders from Canada is she Canadian is she uh, from the Taliban ISIS Al-Qaeda so you know Boko Haram <laughs> you, you name it uh, is she from the radical uh, left um, is she from Antifa you know they share nothing and why we don't know this is number one topic and um, actually for me I believe this is very important uh, message to people who thinking about supporting Trump or not sure yet because uh, I mean why this person he is hated by all the enemies of USA if you ask yourself who is the one who don't want this man to be re you know re-elected you will find in the beginning you will start with Iran, Hezbollah, Al-Qaeda, ISIS uh, I mean all the most aggressive ones they wish that someone like Biden will take over you, you know if you notice just to you know remind you that the era of Biden and Obama was a glorious area for terrorists ISIS formed and grew and became a state in the time of Obama because Obama he made it clear he will not involve in anything just do as you wish you know and actually he told them from the beginning you know this is not of our business so they knew that he is a you know he is a regardless of what people they say about him he's a Muslim or not you know we will leave that in the side for now uh, but this guy he told them from the beginning and you can watch his speeches from the first speech he made in Egypt you are free to do as you wish you're free to believe as you wish you're free to break the human right you're free to do slavery you're free to to kill people in your country but just give us away you know this is the clear message of Obama and then ISIS flourish Al-Qaeda flourish you know we used to have Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan we now we have them everywhere we have a big part in Iraq and Syria is full of Al-Qaeda actually in Syria they have like more than at least 80,000 80, fighters imagine and protected by Turkey and this is other issue you know we will talk about it later why Turkey until now uh, Trump he is doing nothing with, with, the, with Turkey and all of us we knew that Turkey is supporting terrorists uh, maybe many many do not know that uh, USA have uh, almost a 50, 15 to 2,000 soldiers in, in Turkey and they have more than 50 nuke in the Angel uh, base so Trump now is in the process of removing those nukes and I hope soon they will shut down this base and they will move either to Crete 
or to Greece, which is the same anyway, uh, because uh, you know they are they are worrying that what happened in Iran will happen in Turkey if if they start getting harsh in Turkey right away, they might take our soldiers hostages, and it's very easy. I mean, you have just you know a few hundreds in the middle of a country of a million population. They can do the same as what happened in Iran. So I think now in they are in the process of a cleaning Angelique uh, base. And when they are ready, they will announce that we are out. And I think this is what Trump, he would do in the coming election. And then the, the uh, let us say, the way Trump, he deal with uh, Turkey will change. Uh, so, you know, in the time of Obama, going back to the topic, things flourish. Turkey took over supplying with weapon and fighters, all fighters, they land in the airport of Ankara. And they go right away. They put them in a bus under the intelligence uh, care of Turkey. And they put them in a bus. They give them ID and they give them names. And uh, uh, right away, they order them actually not to use real, real names. They use like Abu Muhammad, Abu Ali, Abu whatever, like nicknames. And that is to avoid other intelligence department to find out where they came from, who they are, etc. Uh, in case like one of them is arrested. So when they speak to each other, they don't say their names to each other. Like I uh, say, you are a member of ISIS, so the guy next to you, he asks you, what's your name? You don't say, I am etc. from the place of etc. No, you say uh, Abu Qutada. Okay, so his name is Abu Qutada. Who is Abu Qutada? Nobody knows. You know? So this was a method. In the same time, it, it helped the Turkish intelligence to put their own moles between them so nobody can investigate. They forbid people from investigating each other so they would not be able to reach to the, to the truth about them. Um, um, I'm very sure there's many agents are from the CIA between them. That's why they were able to find a lot of information. Uh, agents from all kind of international community of intelligence. Uh, anyway, so Trump in the coming election, he will deal with I mean, after the coming uh, election, he will deal with uh, uh, Turkey totally differently. That's what I believe, and I hope he will do so. At the same time, I hope they will release, and I think they will release the information about this woman before the election, because that will boost the voting for Trump. You know, people always take a, take a side with the one he looked like, uh, you know, he tried to attempt to kill our president, so people, they vote for him even if people don't maybe agree with him too much. But that alone can be a reason for many people to vote. And I'm talking about those who they are not sure what they would choose. Same time, uh, you know, there's something about Trump I don't like. Trump always, he chose the wrong people to take care of his job. Um, last week we heard the news that uh, uh, a judge, a female judge in the Supreme Court, she passed away. And uh, she is a liberal. Uh, now, if we hire someone, she is conservative in her place, the liberals are really, really screwed, literally, because that will give us a total majority of the Supreme Court. And if a Trump, he won the Kimmy election, and I hope he will, uh, at least he will hire two more. And that means Supreme Court is for conservative for a long time. And people like Antifa, you know, all the garbage, in the, in the uh, you know in the market uh, they will not be happy liberals in general they will be very very upset uh, but look what Trump he did he nominated uh, he gave a list of uh, people who they are uh, let us say capable of the job and right away they start betraying Trump like two women who they are uh, called to be in the Supreme Court they said, oh no, the coming president should uh, should should be the one who choose uh, the Supreme Court a person. But here you ask yourself, you are in which party, you know? I mean, and uh, if Trump, he will, let us say, nominate this woman to be in the Supreme Court, already she is very old. And why you want to nominate, why you want to give a chance to someone who's very old to be in the Supreme Court? You see, uh, maybe many do not know that in the Supreme Court, 
a person he's staying there until he die or retired or he asked for it you know to resign so nobody can take off this person not even president so they are very important why you nominate someone she is very old and look at this woman she is already betraying her party saying oh no 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 you know what the one who will do that uh, he have to be the coming president regardless who is he but by doing that they are risking a great opportunity to have the majority of the conservative in the Supreme Court and here you find that those people they have no loyalty to their belief they don't care you know which is one more important your opinion or saving a nation what is more important that's oh I think it's better the president to what's wrong with you so Trump he have a problem always he nomin he chose the wrong people for the wrong job he chose the wrong FBI director he chose the wrong uh, defense minister that's why we say him in the beginning he was changing people you know he hired foreign minister he changed him he hired a defense minister he changed him why because he is always you know uh, I mean he trusts people easy and he should not do that you know he should know better by now that those people they are like you know no, they are not trustworthy uh, we saw how Republican they betray Trump right after he was elected they hated him and they claimed to be a Republican we saw John McCain uh, we saw uh, Graham you know how he switched now he is supporting Trump but he was number one enemy to Trump he used to call him names he used to make fun of him uh, we saw uh, Romney you know the senator of Utah I mean there's many of them they right away uh, they are not trustworthy so we need to learn that Judah is always exist Judah is a real person and Judah will betray you is can he can be more dangerous than your enemy because he knew he is inside your house like you know John John Bolton uh, you know Trump he hired him to be uh, in the Supreme sorry in the uh, as an assistant for him as a consultant and then the guy now he's making a book about what he said what he did etc he always chose the wrong people and I hope he will not do the same for the Supreme Court again we do not need John Bolton in the Supreme Court there's many people they claim to be conservative you have to check their history for real their history not what they stand now now and people who they change their stand the bend in the weather those are the last one to be hired and I'm afraid Trump he did not learn that yet you know because always he do the same mistake uh, if you go and see how many uh, ministers he changed in the last four years you will be surprised the answer is simple for that he don't uh, choose his own he is listening to somebody you know uh, he is listening too much to advices and those advices obviously they are garbage uh, so I hope he will do the right thing in his nom uh, nominee for the Supreme Court and uh, let us pray that the Supreme Court will be for conservative versus liberals who they are you know all of us we love this country actually I can't say all of us liberals don't I mean they burn the American flag they, they say death to America and the same as Taliban the same as ISIS the same as uh, in Al-Qaeda you name it I mean have you ever heard of a person he loved his country he burned his flag there is no way they hate the police they hate their army they hate their military uh, they actually liberals they believe that if a person he joined military he is a scumbag and you see like when you see those who they are in office from the liberals they in the election day they start saying we support our military etc but all this garbage we know it it's not true they hate military they hate the police you know they are hippie you know the hippie culture they have the hippie culture in the same time the same people who say they hate the military is the first one to ask for it to help them and they are number one people to use it war in Serbia war in Afghanistan war in etc war 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 I mean uh, uh, Obama in his time USA became out for bombs you believe it out of bombs but he focused in one area to bomb he don't want to bomb the other area so we are out of bombs in one area 
the rest of the places in the world terrorists they can do whatever they want and the reason for that he focus in one area because he have his own agenda anyway so I wanted to share this uh, video with you and I apologize I cannot go live on air because my internet is not good and let us see how long is going to load this short video in my slow internet uh, I will be uh, live on air again in a few days from now and I hope you guys have a great time and stay healthy Christ is Lord and everything else is false Thank you. God bless you.